Today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a required CD and DVD drive. Device driver is missing occurred in Windows 7 install. This error, in cases other than when it is caused by happenstance or something incredibly generic, is brought on by the use of a USB 3.0 drive to install Windows 7. You see, the Windows 7 installation environment does not have native support for USB 3.0 because the format simply wasn't all that common back when Windows 7 first came out. That being the case, using a USB 3.0 Zero Windows 7 installation USB or plugging a Windows 7 installation USB into a USB 3.0 port on your computer will result in you seeing the a required CD DVD drive device. Driver is missing error message when you try to install Windows 7. Even if it doesn't, in some cases, slow USB 3.0 speeds are caused due to Windows 7 ISO being relatively older than the format and this can also cause errors during the installation. Use the Gigabyte Utility the easiest and most reliable way to create usable bootable USB media to install Windows 7 with the required USB 3.0 driver, and optionally also. The required NVMe drivers present is to use the Gigabyte USB installation utility program, developed several years ago to support their own users who'd bought Gigabyte motherboards based on the Intel 100 series chipset. Use another computer internet connectivity and then search Windows Image Tool Windows 7. After searching for Windows Image Tool, click on the first search result. Click here to download Windows USB installation tool. After clicking on click here, type Windows Image Tool on keywords and click on search. Look at your series motherboard and download the USB installation tool like my Intel series motherboard so i'm download intel series motherboard usb installation tool after download you may unzip the zip file if you want click here to download the mb utility windows image tool.zip note check out more alternative utilities to install missing drivers of windows 7 bootable usb extract the zip file and run this windows image tool.exe file which is located inside the zip file Click on yes and Windows will ask for your permission to run this file. Please allow it to run. After allowing it, the Windows Image Tool utility will open up in front of you. After the Gigabyte Windows USB installation tool opens, click on the destination path and select the Windows 7 bootable drive and check USB 3.0 driver and optionally NVMe driver. You should uncheck or check the third packages box, which will for some reason automatically click on if you check the NVMe second box. The utility will slipstream the missing requested drivers along with the original Windows 7 media into a new bootable USB flash drive that you can then use to install Windows 7 to a Skylake or newer machine. Then click on start. It will take some time to mount. All of the expanded files will now be perfectly readable by the Gigabyte utility and the Process of adding USB 3.0 and optionally NVMe drivers to the original Windows 7 CD DVD or ISO installer media to create new output bootable USB flash drive will run to normal completion. After the Windows USB installation disk is complete, close the USB installation tool. Now on the computer or laptop on which you were installing Windows 7, boot again with the pen drive. Now you can click install now and install Windows 7 without any problem. If you follow the video in this way, you will not have any difficulty in installing Windows 7. The reason for the problem is that the new machine does not support Windows 7. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.